Russian agent and this guy filmed, I had to sign like a release for him to film with this guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> he pretended to be like from Russia, like, I think he's actually a political person on you know, YouTube and does like, I don't know which side he's for, it's so I couldn't tell, so I just went with it, you know. Okay. <laughs> there's no really, you know what, as far as I'm concerned, there's not a side, there's only, there's just the side of America. Which when I grew up in the 80s when Gorbachev and Reagan were president. Oh, I remember that. I was yeah. a kid. I used to think that Russia was going to come for us when we could war. So. Yeah. <laughs> I I definitely, when I grew up as a kid, that's what I heard a lot of, is that in the 80s it was all this this big fear that, you know, that the, 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 we were close to midnight and that we were on the verge of a nuclear war with Russia. Well, because, you know, not everyone in Russia is good, just like not everyone in America is good. Uh, it's just it's just humanity. Humanity's like that. We, we keep forgetting is that's the real issue here, isn't it? Is what we're doing as humans, like how our countries get along together. Because I remember, I used to not have a problem with. I thought Russia was on the man. You know, Rocky Four came out, and it, right. I don't think we're getting along with Russia. So now, have you read? There's a good book that's out. I never heard about Russia. The Red Notice. declared himself president for life. For well, me, also, that is where I could draw the line. Also, well, Trump said that too, though. <laughs> he yeah. said he would like to do that. I said, well, no, you can't do that. I wish. It's years, man. I hope he didn't. If that <laughs> is, that's where he falls It's on the internet. Yeah, you can well, see it. I've seen it a few times. I actually really this, um, was telling them the story? No, no, no. He was telling the Bush girls oh, okay. that, that he had a brother that died. Yeah. And she only, and it was the first time that the Bushes and the daughters saw oh, some kind of really? humanity with with him. That's interesting. Wow. And then he changed the subject. And then he oh. said to Well, you know, that's kind of like what I thought about with North Korea. I have an idea of to help. That's why I want to talk to Donald Trump, too. Michael. You like met Luther, but, you know, but I, I have a really good day. I, this is gonna work. And anyways, I know there's like people from both sides that are on board with this, but yeah. it's to do with North Korea and South Korea, right? Wow. What that <laughs> you punks! You wanna mess with us? <laughs> but yeah, I oh, see at the library a lot. Yeah, I'm there sometimes. Yeah. No, it's um, it's an idea I got about how to how to. Okay, it has to do with Dennis Rodman. And the fact that Kim Jong Un likes basketball, right? So the best way to, to make, I thought, to get a peace thing going over there in North Korea and South Korea would be to have a basketball on the border, uh, you know, and there would be North versus North and South Korea. I wish North and South Korea game together on the border with basketball and playing a game against the Harlem Globetrotters and Dennis Rodman and. And then Trump would be there, and there would be everyone would be there. And there'd be like a symbol of unity, like yeah. 
and like right there on the board, basketball game. And they're finally playing a game of basketball. I know that Kim Jong Un likes basketball, so if Dennis Rodman and the Globetrotters pitch it with some famous people, it might just work. You know, it might just roll around and. Have I do a, like the idea. I can't argue with that. I've been thinking I mean, about it. Sounds this, crazy, I but I like now. it. I reached out to the basketball players, and they kind of liked it, and then it kind of fizzled out. But maybe it just wasn't the right time. <laughs> they don't want to do something like that because it might actually work. Yeah. So even have, have you been getting trouble from uh, our friendly neighborhood, not so friendlies? Oh, no, we didn't see any Antifa or nothing. No refuse fashion. No. Yeah, refuse fashion and Antifa are the same. No, nothing like that. No, no band. None of the events people. Nobody dressed in black. I mean, I, I know some people that I've, I saw some people who were with Antifa that I saw at the Chrissy Field rally. Right. I did see some of them here. This dude, that guy right next to us was at the Chrissy Field rally. Oh. Yeah, that's why he, when you were trying to get around him, that's why he was pinching you off. The fat guy. <laughs> Remember when you were trying to get, were you trying, I think you were trying to get my friend's attention? Yes. Yeah, and he was just kind of like that. No, but he was like kind of Hispanic looking. That was her boyfriend. Yeah, she, she was a yeah. There was a fat girl too. She was there too. Yeah, yes. they were just like kind of squeezing oh, you off. Yeah. Are you recording still? Yeah, you are recording. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, that's cool. You're just gonna like edit stuff. Yeah, edit it later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, all the conversation. Um, so how, what, what, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's true. But that's important things. Can you say that for home? Can you say that for at home? Sorry. Where's your home, by the way? I'm San Jose. Oh. Yeah. What did they do? Nothing. I don't so know what they're doing. So that's, I don't know. Look like you're so that's where all the conservative or about people are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. I'm to pay a trip to San Jose. Why fall you in this case? <laughs> where are you from? I am from Krypton. No, oh, seriously. Well, I mean, I my, know soul, that. my soul is from Krypton. My body was originally in Texas. Texas, okay. Yeah, yeah I know you, you've told some of your story. Yeah. It's kind of a sad story. Yeah, um, some of the story. You know, Joey Gibson got the wrong idea about me. He kind of brushed me off a little bit. He didn't. And then what happened after that, after um, you guys wanted the after effect, oh boy, I got some of that backlash was horrible for trying to just come together. Uh -huh. The first thing that happened was they sent a crisis actor after me. And now I know what crisis actors are. I, I didn't crisis know what they were. Actors. An actor. Okay, what this guy did is he set his bags down, like real fast and hard, and he was wearing this more overly expensive stuff and he started performing. I have an address so I recognize like like certain little things that throw you off. Uh -huh. And so they sent this person after me to try and get me to start stuff and then I saw the post online about try and get the supergirl San Francisco to start some stuff and the scare into some racist stuff, you know. That she 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 told five thousand of her friends that I was that I said the N word. Remember that day the case silent Denial Stanley, right? Really do? Uh, that, yeah, right right there during Christmas time, December 14th, I remember that. I can't, they, they pushed, they shoved. <laughs> Someone in that group shoved. Uh, what's her name? Anne Wellborn. Or Anne Marie, no, Anne Marie Silva. Anne Marie Silva and uh, pushed her and she did nothing. She's already a disabled woman who had a back injury. And, and you know, yeah, she's a Trump support conservative, and they figure that out. And then I saw them do that. I'm like, don't do that here. And, and then I got mad at, at um, what happened? she calls herself Alexiwin. What? Alexiwin and uh, what's Alexiwin? Uh, that's the black girl that has the dreads, and she always has the right. megaphone that was shouting at people. Oh, she's one of the leaders of the group. Her name is Alex U N. Okay. And so that's how you pronounce Alex U I N. That's her and then Christina Dianar. <laughs> were, um, they like were part of that, and they were responsible for the group for Refuse Fascism and Tifa. And I used to be on their side. I used to march with Refuse Fascism, not knowing that they were up to no good. And they're they're the violent left. They're the intolerant left, and I'm not that. Yeah. I'm I am a JFK, you know, classy liberal who doesn't. One of God's problems. I just want the same peace that I grew up with, at least for a moment. Yeah, you know? I feel the same way. Yeah, I remember the peace I grew up with, and I wonder where that happened to. <laughs> and then 
you know, honestly, though, things sure changed quick. They did. did change quick. So, yeah. Um, Sorry, I was so these these people said, uh, had a, had a, what you call it? What do you call it? Doxing? They put a dox on me. And Tiva dox the super girl of San Francisco. <laughs> Damn. So they had me. I had people on the bus, random people calling me a Nazi really? and a racist. Aww. And they're calling this symbol a Nazi and a racist. Not just me, but Superman symbol, right? You, you're, what are you doing now? And then I, I, I've been here doing this for two years in your city, and you, I felt like I felt like the city turned its back on me, and it did for a while. I was. I, that's what they sent the actor after me because they had someone else there doing a little skit and trying to. And I recognized all that, and I said. I told the crowd to calm down because I recognize he's an actor. I said, it's okay, folks, it's okay. And because they were trying to get me to, they eventually did get me in a situation in front of Burger King where they had a, a, a young black, no, 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 I had an older black man and a young white man pull out a gun knife and start going at each other. And, he, and, the, and the kid says, I have to do this. So I'm, I said, what do you mean you have to do this? You don't have to do this. So I try to stop him. I get him involved in, in the knife fight in front of Burger King. And it didn't dawn on me afterwards, after this you know, older black man pulled out a machete and they were going to go at each other's throat. But I got in between these two and I said, no, I'm not, I'm not happening. I put my own body in harm's way. <laughs> you believe that? I'm doing the superhero thing for real now and people don't realize that. They don't take me seriously because it's you know, all goofy and stuff because I'm an entertainer so I have like layers, you know, yeah. in what I do. So, anyway. That's been that, and then, oh yeah, and so for the longest time, for like a year, they've been trying, I've had random strangers just hurl insults at me, and God, it was so horrible to feel like a villain, and be considered a villain just because you were, and, and they, they tried to, they, I screamed at them on that day that they knocked her to the ground, so that was, uh, that was wrong. And the cops told me to just calm down and say, don't be involved. And then she, that whole event was recorded, but then she tried to say that I said the N-word, and I started shouting at her in front of the plaza. But there's no, and then she, and then, then just about a couple of weeks ago at the Kamala House rally, she went and found me at the rally, and then she came over here and she started yelling, yelling at me and said, you don't belong here. You don't belong wow. here. And, sorry, and she brought her sorry, posse yeah. with her and then started harassing me and then she started shouting. She said, you, I got you on tape saying the N-word. I got you on tape. And then, the, and then, and then, man, it was just a bad feeling. She had me for, she was eating into my soul because other people were gathering around her and pointing at me and, and super cruel and saying, there's the villain and she doesn't know any better. She's, she's It's ignorant. time to get past the N-word, man. Right? It was, I, racism is dead in America, in my opinion. Is what? Racism has been Woo! dead in America. Nice lot. Well, the radical was, left is trying is, to revive that's it. That's microaggression. She's just trying to create something that's not there. There was no. I have no <laughs> evil racist bone in my body. It was close. <laughs> oh, it almost came close. Almost that was close. close. <laughs> no, that's my force field. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a kinetic field around my body. <laughs> no, in the comics, Supergirl does have a kinetic field. That's funny. I believe it. But no, um, yeah, so that I, I've been dealing with that and trying to maintain my image and being, I want, I'm trying to be a reserve firefighter, reserve police officer, and, and still do the entertainment <laughs> thing. I, ca I care about this city. This is my home. I don't want to go anywhere just because there are people that don't agree with me. I can't do that. You really are from Krypton. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Krypton. <laughs> What's in your bag? Oh, huh? there's flowers. Never mind. Yeah, you know what? San Francisco is was and is a beautiful city and it can be a beautiful city again but it's just going to shit you know, oh, there was a drive-by just the other night i know i know Fillmore no. and uh forget the cross street yeah, it's it's just it's Eddie. urban decay everywhere yeah and and you know what though a lot of that is <laughs> a lot of that is the fact that like i'm poor i'm i live in a tent in the forest i have the rest of my fortress of solitude is I've been doing all this while I'm poor and have I don't have enough I mean I earn stuff but it's not enough for an apartment here. It's four thousand dollars for maybe if you're lucky three thousand, two thousand. If you get an SRO maybe seven hundred. When I used to live in Texas I got a place for like two hundred dollars a month for one bedroom. So. Right. <laughs> that's a lot that's a big reason. And then, and then there's no public restroom, so everyone has to take a poop on the street. <laughs> that's true. I've seen people poop on the street at nighttime. <laughs> 
Oh, there's your crow friends. Yeah. True. Very true. Crows are very spiritual uh, moments. I don't know if you're aware of that or not, but that's a real thing. People think that's superstition, but I've learned about what animals do and how, how they, you know, communicate with us. Yeah. Crows are very bold. Yeah, and they're, they're smart, too. It's an actual fact that crows, um, captain crows, have a special squawk for their captor. Really? Yeah, they name their captor, which makes you kind of wonder, who's the real pet? Let me say one more thing before I get up, though. Um, yeah. She's up to no good. Her and Christina want to rule this city. They want to... You talking uh, about the mayor? No, uh, not London. London really doesn't know what this stuff is all about. He just has no idea what, what this is. This is a deep, it's like deep stuff. It's, and Refuse Fascism and Tifa are the same interconnected organization. They, they have these meetings down in the sports basement. Subscribe to their newsletter, you can see where they go. And every time I've tried to, oh, I met them out in public in front of the ice building, and they got mad with me and stuff. And it's like, yeah, these guys were everywhere. But the worst part I was think just, if you get seen with, with, with anyone on the right, you're just I'm the villain. You're also. done. Okay. You're just done. They don't tolerate it. Like you cannot play both sides with them. Well, I am going to play both sides with them. But they don't like. They don't like it too bad because that's that's my purpose in life. That's what God brought me here to do, is to be a, a peacemaker. So I'm going to do it the way that I know how to know best. And this is the path that, oh, look, I mean, all this stuff happened to me for a reason. I, I believe that. So I'm, I believe I'm supposed to be here to help bridge that gap. So I don't know exactly how to make purple happen yet, but that's what I'm all about, purple. <laughs> all right. Well, thank the purple you. Purple is weird, though. It's, it's hard to, to deal with because you can't. We're angry at each other, and we're ready to kill each other. Right. You know, God, man, what's going on? That's that is not. There's got to be some kind of. That's why I want to talk to President Lex Luthor because <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Lex Luthor because that's gonna be like funny, you know. Get his goat a little bit. I really, honestly, have plans on having a meeting with the man. So I don't okay. see why not, right? If you could, I would love to see it. Yeah, I'd be down with that. I'd support it. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best to put myself out there. I'm gonna get on Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Annoy the hell out of I can yeah. do that. I can annoy people without being like evil towards them. I can like a little comedy, you know. Yeah. I'm kinda like Stephen Colbert but not as conservative. <laughs> <laughs> well maybe, I don't know. I just I like dealing with people on a different level than, than, I don't know, we have to go to like some other place. This is all weird. No worries. I don't, I mean, feel, I don't feel the, the audio is probably not even that great. You know, uh, the wind's kind of blowing, but you know, I'll, I'll make the best of it because the wind. Kind of, I'm sure the wind's fucking up the audio for sure. I but you know, this is, this has been fun. Yeah. And you know, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to say before we I end this? Um. Yeah. Antifa, lay off my back. It's not your decision to make. You don't have any kind of use, universal power or right or or ability to decide how I interact with other human beings on this planet. That's, that's up for me to do. And I'm not interested in, to, to create more violence. I know that you're angry. I know that you're trying to you're trying to get stuff done. But guess what? The way you don't go about it is wrong. <laughs> can't do that in my city. can't do that to people. You have to learn to find a way to make it work. Otherwise, you're going to rob yourself of your own serenity and then you'll be hating on people for the, for the, until you're old and gray, and then what? Then it's controlling you and making you something you're not really supposed to be, and then, I don't get it. I don't get it, Antifa. I really don't. I, I, I know what the struggle is, but you're not, you're not doing it the right way, and you're causing people pain, and that's, that has to stop. Things have to change before we lose our country, before we lose the planet. I'm serious. It's not a joke. This is not a joke, and I'm gonna keep fighting the good fight. But that doesn't mean I'm not anyone's enemy. But if you make me your enemy, if you choose that path, I I have no choice. But anyways, 
I'm still, I'm still, this is the real San Francisco. I'm all at peace. Peace out. <laughs>